Today, we are going to migrate an account from cPanel to Direct Admin Server. And we don't have root SS to cPanel Server. We only have user SS. First of all, note that my Direct Admin version is 1.645. So if you are using an older version, then this may not work properly for you. Also note that Direct Admin has default max username length of 10. You can check that by running the command user local Direct Admin Direct Admin C pipe grep max username length as you can see it's set to 10 now if your cpanel username is longer than this then your migration will fail so we will need to increase the length and you can do this by running command user local direct admin direct admin set max username length 16 restart it will increase the value and automatically restart the direct admin. if your cpanel username length is less than 10 then you don't have to do this you can skip this step now let's begin the migration first of all you will need to log into the cpanel then search for backup click on the backup then click on download a full account backup here you can directly send the backup to ftp or scp but i am going to choose home directory you can also get an email notification but i don't want that so i will set do not send email notification now click on generate backup this backup may take a very long time if your account size is very large so you will have to wait for the backup to finish. click on go back as you can see here the backup is finished now you can click on it and download the backup after that upload it to your direct admin server but i am going to use a little insecure method here search for file manager and if you go to home directory you will find the backup here this is the backup file now we will move this backup file to the public html folder then click on public html with this method you can direct download this file using site name slash backup hyphen this full file name you will also need to set the file permission to 644 and save it if you don't do it then you will get a forbidden error when you try to download this file now go back to your direct admin shell then go to admin directory and create a folder called cpanel backups set its ownership to admin then go to that directory clear the screen now we will download that backup file here I will download the backup using wget command wget site name then the backup file name and hit enter the backup is downloaded now if you see the directory contents you will see the backup file here now rename this backup file to cpmove-username.tar.gz so in this case it will be cpmove-smptest.tar.gz and hit enter now the file is renamed this is a very important step if you don't rename it then restore will fail now go back to direct admin then go to menu admin tools admin backup slash transfer then click on restore here put the path home admin cpanel backups then click on next then change the ip if you want then click on next here select that file you can assign it to a, a reseller if you want but i will make it default now click on restore now the restoration is in progress you will get a message here when backup is restored here i got the message your user files have been restored now if i go back and click on show all users you can see that this cpanel account has been restored here now you can point the website to this server and that's all for today have a great day